Hello and welcome back to Sussex Squad Family TV on YouTube. Now rapper Stormzy defends Meghan Markle in a passionate new song called Please. My family, I want to say thank you. Thank you to each and every single one of you, first of all, for condemning the abuse and racism that Megan has been subjected to all of these years. Thank you to every single person who has been vocal in the support of Megan. Thank you to the 72 female members of parliament who saw what was happening towards Megan. The abuse, xenophobia, and called it out for what it was. Racism, xenophobia from the UK tabloid press. Hounding a woman throughout her pregnancy, her first pregnancy with Archie. My family, also, thank you to Stormzy, rapper Stormzy, who has always been vocal in her support, in his support of Megan and called it out, the UK press has been to Megan for what it is, racism. My family, first of all, in the past, this is what Stormzy had to say about Meghan Markle. Stormzy has always come out to defend Meghan from what he himself has seen. Before you see this clip, know this, there has never been a valid reason of hating on Megan. Never. Never, ever, ever been a valid reason to hate on Megan. Megan has always been a good person with a good heart. And every single person who has ever worked with Megan has only had nice things to say about her. So much so that even UK Press had to pay Simon Rex, offer Simon Rex $70,000 to lie that he had slept with Megan. That's how they look for anything negative around Megan, but couldn't find it that they had to offer people thousands of dollars to say something negative about Megan. My family, this is what Stormzy has said about Megan in the past. Hear what he said. I promise you, you see what I'm about to say now? You know, like the, bruv, the British media are going to take it. But I, I had like a kind of big, like, <clears throat> you, call, you call it racist. Or yeah, I said, I, said, I said Britain's like racist. And the same way America's racist. Mm -hmm. and, like, do you know what I mean? Most, right. Not a risky thing not to say. A risky, right. Not a risky thing. But, but Brits are in denial uh, about are their super role. super in denial. Yes, and then yes, yes. the whole Megan thing, bruv, Meg, like, I look at... The, I, My family, you've heard what he said. He called Britain racist. But Brits are in denial. My family. Because... Time and time again, we have seen the rotter. That is the propaganda arm of the royal family say, what racism did Megan experience? What racism? What racism? Yet even they, themselves, no matter what they say, can't pretend to hide their racism towards Megan. Yesterday, Angela Levin commented about, you know, Megan's skin tone. And she has received backlash because of it. Because they're trying to say that, you know, how can Megan be subjected to racism? You know, yet she appears, you know, to have a white complexion. My family, that has to do with colorism. But still, even that has not exempted Megan from being recently abused. It has not exempted Megan's children, Archie and Lily Diana from experiencing racism. It hasn't. And one thing about America is that even though indeed there is racism, there is a conversation about it. However, in the UK, despite there being racism, it's like deny, 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 deny. They're denying it, as Tom Zia said. They're in denial. And that's not okay for us to be able to fight racism. Systemic racism, we need to talk about it. We need to have a conversation about it and fight racism. Racism is evil. And thank you to people who are part of that conversation. People like Storm Z. My family, 
Let us continue. No, I'm not super into the royal family. I look at I think Meg, she's a sweet girl. She's a sweet woman. Like she's a lovely woman. She does her thing. Like I ain't heard her say nothing crazy. She, do you know what I mean? She just and they just hate her. They just hate her. They just hate her. My family on that. Megan has never said any bad thing. Anything that is bad. Never. Never. Not once has she said anything bad. Not once. Even when the royal family. Not once. She did as she was told to do. And she was still crushed for it. My family. Still. My family, there is no valid reason to hate Megan. So why do they hate Megan? Because of her race. Because Prince Harry loves her. Because Harry protects her. And that's why parents like Megyn Kelly can go on their channels, complain, whine, and moan that Megan called Harry my husband. They went, tune in to Megan's Spotify podcast archetypes. Look for anything negative to say about Megan. And they couldn't find anything. Then they said, Oh, look, I can't stand that Megan calls Harry, you know, husband many, many times. My family, Megan can call Harry husband a million times if she wants to because Harry is her husband. Megan's husband. My family. And the jealousy from the UK press, from the tabloids, from the farm, from Karen like Megan Kelly, is just off the top. They can't stand Prince Harry fell in love with a bisexual black woman. They just can't stand it. They can't stand it. It's eating them a lot. My family, hear more on what you know Stormzy had to say kindly. They just hate her. And she got a black mom with dreads. They brought a black choir over there to that. And they will tell you it's very shit. And they'll the say, like, the wedding got a black pastor. Yeah, black. So if, you, the, if you hear them talk about, like, oh, she's just, uh, so what was, who's my man? Um, oh, someone on talk radio the other day, he was like, um, she's just, she's just one of those people that I just look at her and I think. My family, let me pause there first of all. You've heard from Stormzy say that, you know, for the put there, make them both a black pastor to the wedding. And on that issue, Carnival of so-called experts have confessed to be uncomfortable because of that. They couldn't stand it one bit. They just couldn't control or hide the reason because Megan, during her wedding, they put a black pastor. Because of that, they were angry. They were angry. They couldn't control or hide the racism towards Megan. Not even by a little bit. A black choir at the wedding. The royal family, the farm, the terror media, they couldn't stand it. My family, yet they say that, what racism? What racism? And even the press cannot hide the racism towards Megan. They can't. And they have never been able to hide it. They openly show it for every single person to see. And that racism should be condemned. And it should be called out by each and every single person across the world. My family, let's finish up with this short clip kindly. Who's my man? Um, oh, someone on talk radio the other day he was like, um, she's just, she's just one of those people that I just look at her and I think, and I said, bro, she's black. That's who you talking about. You just look at her and you just, drop, <laughs> you just look at her and I think she's, she's just got that arrogance. And I was like, nah, she's just black. Yeah, man. We don't, they don't like her. So they have, they have other work. They'll, they'll try to come up with all these things. <laughs> my family, that part from you know talk radio that. Someone on talk radio went there and said that I just look at Megan and I don't know this and that. Making all these unfounded allegations about someone that they have not met. Not one bit. They have not even met. My family. Like, I have never met Megan, but she's this and that. You don't know her. You don't know Megan. You've seen her work before she married Prince Harry. With world vision, addressing the United Nations, talking about female empowerment, feminism, before she met Prince Harry, even 
before she was even a member of the royal family, she was already addressing the United Nations before meeting Prince Harry. She was already doing charity work, helping people, speaking to the producer of suits, asking about this, those, you know, unused food at set. Megan asked them to give that food that wasn't used, those leftovers, to people in need, to charity, supporting people in need of that food. And that's what they did because Megan requested it. That is who Megan is. A good person. I don't think people, you know, trying to get into Megan's feelings. Like, Megan is this. Megan is that. I feel like Megan is this. I feel like Megan is that. Yet every single person who has ever met Megan has only had but nice words to say about Megan. The royal family, the firm, and the press did their own investigations towards Megan when she and Harry first came out as, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend that they were dating. They did their own investigation about Megan and they found nothing on Megan. They found nothing on Megan. They had to go to Samantha Markle to look for something negative about Megan. And it was at that time that Samantha Markle tried to reach out to Megan when she found out that Megan and Harry were dating because she had hoped to be able to cash in on her half sister's fame. That is what she thought. And that even now, right now, she's still hoping she can do that. In her court case against Megan, the only thing that she's complaining about is that, you know, Megan said that she's an only child. My family, that is her main complaint. It says it hurt her feelings. My family. And calls it defamatory. <laughs> I'm hoping that that court case gets, you know, gets thrown out once and for all because that that is unworthy of being a case you don't empanel a jury a jury in a courtroom to talk about if the plaintiff and defendant had a relationship growing up you just don't do that my family they are trying to attach themselves on someone they have said they hate they are trying to attach themselves on someone they have clearly been smearing to make money from her through smearing her because if you think they do it for free smearing megan then think again they did not do it for free that's how they couldn't find anything they couldn't find anything that they had to offer simon rex seventy thousand dollars to lie that he had slept with megan seventy thousand dollars that's how they couldn't find anything on megan because Megan has always been a clean, good person, a clean, kind-hearted person, a genuine person. And every single person, our entire Suits cast members can say the same thing because they worked with Megan for the better part of a decade. So they know enough to know who Megan is. What can you of so-called experts working for you know, UK press doing propaganda for the royal family that clearly have never met Megan, but are like, you know, I have never met Megan, but you know, I feel like she's seriously. We know what it is. We know what your problem is. Your problem is Megan's race. Say the quiet part out loud. We already know it, and you can't even hide it. You can't. And they must keep being exposed for their racism towards Megan one way or the other, my family. And this is what, you know, Stormzy also said. Look at her and he just dropped. <laughs> yeah, look know. at her and I think she's, she's just got that arrogance. And I was like, no, nah, she's just playing, yeah, man. We don't, they don't like her, but he So they have, they have other work. They'll, they'll try to come up with all these things. That all these is. things as to why, I swear to you, if if you told someone, write a list uh, as to why you hate Meghan Markle. The list is rubbish. It's rubbish. It's talk she's this. She's. It's nothing. There's nothing credible to it. They just. They just. But there's an obsession with the royal family. My family, you've heard that. If you ask someone to write a list about why do you hate Megan, 
I can tell you something. You won't find anything in what they have to say. Ask them to write a list about why they hate Megan. You won't find anything because they have no reason to hate Megan. My family, you know, something else comes to my mind. That is the double standards in treatment between Megan and Kim Moulton, like how Megan Carol baby bump. She was attacked for it. Kim Moulton did it. It was okay. Oh, kind. How nurturing of a mother. Megan ate an avocado. Somehow it was linked to do human rights abuse or something. I don't even know how an avocado is linked to human rights abuse. But the UK press did it. For, me, for Kim Moulton, avocado was okay. Nurturing. Good for the baby. So my family, racism cannot be restricted to how, you know, calling someone the N-word. No. Racism is actions. It's how you treat person, one person as a human being, and another, you dehumanize for doing the exact same person things that the other person does. Like Megan curling a baby bump. For Kate, it was okay. For Megan, why can't she take her hands off her bump? The jealousy of the UK press, you know, towards Megan, seeing her happy, it triggers them a lot. It triggers them and pisses them off. My family, it pisses them off. And I'm thankful to people like Storm Z for calling out, you know, the abusive UK press towards Megan and calling it what it is racism. Racism. Megan has always been subjected to racism by the UK tabloid press. No matter what they say, that is what they've done. Dan Wooten was always said, you know, what racism? What racism did Megan experience? Went ahead with an article that as a monarchist, he believes that members of the royal family should be whiter than white. You don't need to be a smart or intelligent person to know what he meant by that. By that. He was clearly being racist towards Megan and he couldn't, couldn't even be able to hide it. Yet he can still go on TV and say, What racism? What racism? What racism? Camilla Twin is the last thing that, What racism? But it was xenophobia. I did see an element of anti Americanism in the coverage of Megan. Yet somehow we are being told that Kimilton and William are on a term offensive to, to conquer America <laughs> by going to Boston. On one hand, you say you don't like Americans. On the other hand, you want their money, you want their attention, you want their coverage. No one does hypocrisy, both on the UK press and the royal family. Nobody, nobody. And no matter what William and Kimilton do, they will never be able to take, you know, the spotlight that Harry and Meghan have. The world is fully on Prince Harry and Meghan's side. At least normal people with, you know, a good heart, not a hateful heart, a good heart are on Prince Harry and Meghan's side. And those are people who matter. Those are people, you know, who are using their voice to condemn the abuse and racism towards Meghan. My family, so Stormzy's lyrics on his song, you know, went like this kindly. Allow me to read you the lyrics of his song. Now, while reflecting on his own feelings around forgiveness and imperfection, you know, Stormzy mentions another person in the first verse, borrowing a phrase from Chris Crocker and his viral video, Leave Britney Alone. Stormzy said this, and I quote, these are the lyrics. Please, could you lower your tone? Please, could you get off my phone? And please, leave Megan alone. He raps. And later on in the song, comes another role I just didn't mention. As Tomes, he says, you want to speak, but it's best that you don't. Under pressure, we fold. Best believe you're protecting your throne. 
my family. That is the lyrics to what Tom Z has, you know, said in his song titled Please. So go ahead and kindly listen to it. I love that more and more people are condemning the abuse and vitriol spewed towards Megan, like people like Storm Z and what they're doing. And I thank them apparently for what they're doing. They're doing a remarkable, remarkable job. Thank you, Storm Z, for condemning abuse towards Megan. Thank you so, so much. And may you always be blessed eternally and abundantly. Thank you to all of you who also condemn abuse and racism towards Megan, Archie, Libidana. Thank you to call, for calling out the injustice that, injustice that have been happening, the unfair treatment of Prince Harry, Archie, and Libedana, which to this day, the royal family has still not updated its website to refer to Archie and Libedana using their correct titles, Prince and Princess. Now that, my family, is racism. My family, you know, what do you think about Stormzy's verse in this, you know, great song titled, Please? It's high time for the media, the UK Double Press, to leave Meghan alone because it's been two years since Harry and Meghan left. Two and a, more than a half years right now. I wonder of fact, next year, by March, to mark the third year since Harry and Meghan stepped down as senior members of the royal family. And despite that, Harry and Meghan leaving, still, the UK press can't let go of them, can't leave Harry and Meghan alone. That has got to stop. That has got to change once and for all. They need to leave Meghan alone. They need to leave Meghan in peace. The farm needs to call off its hounds against Meghan and Harry. They need to call them off. As Prince Harry and Meghan said, and Meghan said the point of view that, I can't expect, you know, like, how the firm, how can the firm expect for us to remain silent? Well, we know the active role the firm is playing in perpetuating falsehoods against us. Harry and Meghan had already left and stepped down as senior members of the royal family. Yet the royal family seemed to be still hell-bent on smearing Harry and Meghan, the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex. The royal family still seemed hell-bent on smearing Prince Harry and Meghan. And they never stopped lying about them, time and time again. Meghan suffered a miscarriage, but still, William authorized his employee just enough to issue a statement against Meghan in court to assist the Daily Mail in its court case filed by Megan against them. The firm, William K. Milton, Prince William K. Milton, Camilla, Charles, need to leave Prince Harry and Megan alone until they can press to back off. Charles, look at how he is. On his birthday, he makes a move against, you know, he makes a move to add councillors of state. And clearly the purpose of it was to, for the media to have something to write in their ongoing negativity towards Harry and Meghan. They painted it as a move that is meant to hurt Prince Harry. That's how they painted it as. And Charles is fulfilling the wishes of the UK press because it's the UK press that brought this up. The issue on council of state and the royal family hid their calls, hid their demands. Remember, UK press don't report the news. They create the news. And they created what Charles did by calling for it, by demanding for it. My family, for Harry, you know, for more councillors of state to be added and Harry to be removed as a councillor of state. That's what they wanted. But that's not what they got. I'm sure, you know, the firm probably knew that if they did that, then Prince Harry would get more sympathy. And that's not what the firm wants. That's not what the firm wants. So it's clearly Charles 
is in bed with the UKW press in the smearing of his own son, Prince Harry, because he is the most owned king in the UK. History, the text of the UK, he is the most owned king with his many, many scandals that he has been, you know, part of, that he wants the media to cover up for him. You know, my family, Stormzy also said that you want to speak, but it's best that you don't. Under pressure, we fold. Best believe you're protecting your throne, he says. My family, you know, much has been said about Prince Harry and Meghan. Much has been said. But yet Harry and Meghan have always been expected not to talk about, you know, the abuse they faced. The smear campaign they faced. Because tablets themselves say that, oh, look, we treated Harry so, so well. We gave them a wedding. What they don't tell you is that that wedding was a requirement by the firm because they needed the PR. And they benefited from the PR. And that's why when we can say that we had a private wedding between me and Harry, you can say that, oh, look, she's lying about this. That is what they were quick to say. Oh, look, she's lying, she's lying, she's lying. In reality, what had happened, what Megan meant was that they had a private session exchanging vows between one another. A private moment between Megan and Harry. UK press did not like that one bit. They're like, no, no, no. Talk about the wedding we gave you. No, that private moment that you had. Not the private moment that you had between you and Harry. Ignoring the fact that in that moment, for Prince Harry and Meghan, that moment was when they got married. The other one was for you, for the public, was for the media, because the royal family wanted its PR, and they got their PR. They got their PR in that time. My family. So don't, don't ever let them fool you. Don't, let, don't ever let the UK press and the farm ever fool you. Harry and Meghan are great, remarkable people. And the farm should end its mere campaign against Harry and Meghan and back off. If Harry and Meghan have been treated so well, then why are they so afraid of what, you know, Harry and Meghan might or might not say? You know, I remember even the Queen's funeral. After, not, not the Queen's funeral, after the Queen's funeral, Charles were like, oh look, Harry and Meghan have been you know, feel like they weren't treated well. We know that Harry and Meghan don't speak to them. So why would they say that? Why would they write articles in that Harry and Meghan felt they had not been treated well? It's because they had not been treated well. We saw what had happened before the Queen passed away. Like, you know, those phone calls to Harry telling him not to come with Meghan. Showing contempt towards Prince Harry's bride once again. The love of his life, the mother of his kids. We saw what happened when the pilot sent an invitation to Prince Harry and Meghan to attend the same banquet and then said, and then we signed that invitation and then leaked to the press that they had rescinded the invitation to get Harry and Meghan humiliated. So, all these scenarios, we saw it. We saw it. And the royal family are afraid of Harry and Meghan speaking up about what had happened. Because despite the Queen passing away, the royals were still feeding stories to the press against Harry and Meghan. But yet they expect Harry to come back for Christmas. Why would you expect, you know, for Harry to come back for Christmas when the only thing you have showed him is disrespect whenever he is in the UK? My family, Harry and Meghan will spend Christmas in a place whereby they are happy. A place full of love, next to their loving kids, Archie and Libertana, away from toxicity. You know, the media is coming up with this. Harry and Meghan have been invited to Sandringham by the royal family. They are doing that because they want to create another new story. Harry and Meghan snubbed Christmas with the royals. Mark my words. That is going to happen. Mark my words. Right here and right now. That's going to happen. 
They're creating the news. Not reporting the news, creating the news. When they know fully well, Prince Harry and Meghan will never come back to a toxic place to spend Christmas with toxic individuals. And the media knows that. Harry and Meghan will spend their time with in a place full of love. Not a place where by for Christmas you'll have stories being leaked about Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan have shown time and time again they will do everything to protect their mental health. That is what they'll do. And may God bless Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Value your mental health. Protect your mental health because no one else is going to do it for you. Only you need to do it. Protect your mental health. My family, I want to be in a world of this kindly. And with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. My family, thank you once again to every single person who supports me you know, and defends me again. And Storm Z, before I end this podcast, it said also that it cuts deep when you deep that your house was never your home. He says, my family, Meghan married, married into the institution of the royal family. Married Prince Harry, actually. Married Prince Harry. By doing that, she became a part of the institution. My family and Meghan, look what has happened right now. She has been rejected by the royal family, by the farm, by William, by Kate, by Charles, by Camilla. And she's treated so, so poorly. My members of the royal family. She was never ever welcomed. And she has gone back home to America. A place whereby she spends her time with her loved ones, her husband, Prince Harry, her two kids, Archie and Libertana. A new start for their family. And my family, my wish for them is that they live in the US and prosper forever and ever and ever and thrive, not survive each and every single day of their life. May they always thrive. Thank you, Stormzy, once again for, for this and for always supporting me again. My family, I want to hear your opinion kindly. And with that, and so much more, stay tuned for our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our Evergreen family on YouTube. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.